Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome to Tuesday evening, afternoon, depends where you are in the world. <laughs> I'm in the UK, some of you are in America and different countries around the world, but wherever you are, welcome to Tuesday's edition of Men That Pray 2022, hallelujah, <clears throat> we made it by the grace of God. We made it to 2022. How many can praise God, thank God for bringing us through to 2022? Hallelujah, it's good to be here. Well, let me tell you, my start to 2022 was a rocky, rough, hardcore start. But how many know <clears throat> God has prepared great things for us? That's right, God has prepared great things for us. So it doesn't matter how your 2022 starts. <laughs> hey, Pastor Michael, good to see you. Give you a little wave. In fact, let me just uh, invite a few people. I forgot to do that. I'll do that now. Uh, send out a few invites. I've worked out how to do this now. So I can send out invites on here. There we go. Send out a few invites. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> hey, anointed Atria, good to see you. Hope you're alright, hope everyone's blessed. Then I had a good start to 2022. Mine, like I say, I was just about to say, <clears throat> mine was a tough start. Yeah, imagine this for a start. New Year's Eve, 31st of December. I get tested positive for COVID. And that's how I started my 2022 in a battle. In a battle, man. But how many know God brought me through? And I'm testing negative for COVID. And I'm healthy. And I'm, and I'm good. And I thank God for uh, people who prayed for me. Everybody who's been praying for me. Thank you for your prayers. Prayers work. Yeah, prayers make a difference. And here I am today. Men that pray. Yeah. 10 days later, 11 days later, after being tested positive, I'm healthy and well and healed by the blood of the Lamb, healed by the name of Jesus, hallelujah, <clears throat> and I'm excited to be able to share with you the word of God on today, hallelujah. So let's go ahead and pray, and let's uh, start the f first Men That Pray of 2022. Yeah, what the enemy meant for my harm, God turned it around for my good. Let's pray. Hallelujah, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing us here once again, Lord, for making a way. You are worthy, Lord. Thank you for making a way for us to come together today, Lord, to hear your word. Thank you, Lord. For bringing me through to 2022, Lord. The enemy didn't want me to get here, but God, you made a way, Lord. You prepared a place for me, Lord. You prepared a place for each and every one of us. And so, Lord, today we ask that you would have your way in this meeting. You would take full control. You would reign by your spirit in this meeting. Say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. Have liberty and freedom, Holy Spirit. To minister to your people. Bring your people into this place today to encounter you. To encounter a breakthrough. To encounter a miracle. To encounter a healing. To encounter a touch from the King. Lord, move me out of the way now, Lord. Let your kingdom come. And let your will be done in this meeting, Lord. And for every person that enters in, either by live or by the replay, let them encounter the kingdom of the living God. And let their lives be touched and changed and transformed into the plan and purpose that you have for them Father God that Lord any area of their lives that need to come into order to your plan and purpose let it be done Lord God I thank you now for the anointing Lord upon this message upon this word upon this service Lord let your anointing flow break the yokes of bondage Lord set the captives free Lord let this be an atmosphere for miracles Father as we bow to worship you, Lord, 
and exalt you as Adonai in our lives, Lord, and declare that you reign. There is none like you, Jesus. You reign, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us through. Thank you, Lord, for making a way. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. And we're so grateful now to give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, let me stop the music. Hey, there's my mentor, my father in the spirit. I call him Pappy, Tony Walker. If you see him in the chat, you see his name pop up. That's my that's my Pappy. That's my my father in the spirit, my mentor. I love him many years. What was it, 10 years now, 12 years? <clears throat> He's been walking with me. He's walked through the, the high, high corridors of hell, walked through the <laughs> highways of hell with me and uh, brought me up and brought me through and uh, because of this man of God I, I stand here today to say hallelujah thank you Jesus so I just give glory and honour where honour and glory is due praise the Lord <clears throat> all right let's get started so I've got a message today titled the prepared place yeah the prepared place I mean know God prepares a place for us yeah if you didn't know that I'm here today <clears throat> to tell you that God has something prepared for you. Oh, come on now, that's good news. God has something prepared for you. I just want to see someone else who just popped in there. Hello, sister, I see you there. Uh, God has something prepared for you. That's good news. But we need to find out what it is. And I just want to open up to a part in a scripture that I've been meditating on today. In our daily, I do a daily Monday to Friday Bible snacks. And um, we're going through the book of uh, Genesis at the moment. And uh, we're on chapter 24 of Genesis. And we're looking at the uh, the life of Isaac. Yeah. And I've been meditating on a couple of verses that stuck out to me today. And we're going to look at chapter 24. And we're going to read from verse 7. And this is Abraham talking to his son Isaac. And it says, For the Lord... The God of heaven who took me from my father's house, my native land, so solemnly promised to give this land to my descendants. He will send his angel ahead of you and he will see to it that you find a wife. Come on, somebody. Who needs a wife? <laughs> I need a wife. <laughs> That's a good thing. All right. Uh, you will find a wife there for my son. If she is will, if if she and listen to this, this, this is how confident uh, Abraham is that he'll find a wife. He goes on to say, if she is unwilling to come back with you, then you are free from this oath of mine. But under no circumstances are you to take my son there. Talking about Canaan, he told he told, he told uh, Isaac not to go and get a Canaanite wife. That he was to go to the place where the, the angel was going to go before him. And there he would find a wife. And if you know the story, he, he found Rebecca. Yeah. And the favour of the Lord was there. And uh, hey, Capricia, God bless you, sister. And uh, yeah. And Isaac found himself a wife. But meditating on that part of the scripture today, I was looking at how uh, Abraham prophesied. And he said, an angel will go before you. Yeah, an angel will go before you. In other words, God will prepare a place. God will prepare everything you need. And that's a, that's something that we need to know in 2022. Yeah, this is, a, this is a message that we need to hear now because there's so much uncertainty when we look at the world, when we look at what's happened in 2021, 2020, all kinds of chaos going on. We need to know that God has something prepared. Yeah, we need to recognize that God has prepared something good. For you something good for me yeah when i look at 2022 and i'm like man god what you, what's in store for me what's gonna what's gonna happen and god's saying don't worry son i've got something prepared for you yeah so i'm here today to uh, start 2022 by letting you know that god has something prepared for you let's go to um isaiah a familiar portion of scripture for me for many years that uh read this part of the scripture this is talking about cyrus but it also speaks to us today and it's uh, isaiah 45 2 and 3 
and it's and this is what this is what it says it says this is what the lord says i will go before you and level the mountains i will smash down gates of bronze and cut through the bars of iron and i will give you treasures hidden in darkness and secret riches i will do this that you may know that i am the lord the god of israel that calls you by name now in this part of the scripture he's talking to cyrus yeah and we know that cyrus was uh was was uh, uh called of god to do a job to to take the uh israelites into into bondage yeah for babylon to to come because the israelites had not been obedient so god used cyrus uh, to take him into captivity but here this still speaks to us that the same god that went before Cyrus, the same God that went before Isaac, yeah, is the same God that will go before you, will go before me, yeah. We, we for that familiar portion of uh, Psalm, uh, Psalm twenty-three, that reads uh, verse five. It says, "You prepare a feast before me in the presence of my enemies. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies." You honour me with by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Yeah. So that's the kind of God we serve. We serve a God that prepares a place for us. We serve a God that prepares a table for us. We serve a God that goes before us. So it doesn't matter what 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 might lay ahead. Yeah, in 2022. Yeah, it might look uncertain. It might look scary. It might look dark. It might look... All, all kind, all manner of things. The news is saying this. The politicians are saying this. People are saying that. But we need to focus on what God's saying. Can I get an amen? <laughs> we need to focus on what God's saying. And God is saying, I prepared something good for you. Yeah, when God prepares something for his children, yeah, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing because he says, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future so being a child of god is exciting it's exciting because we know that god has got good, something good for us because god is able to take care of us yeah what does it say in the bible if he can take care of the lilies of the field the birds of the air come on now the grass of the field how much more can he take care of you and me yeah so i don't have to worry about who says what i don't have to worry about what the news says i don't have to worry about what the politicians say i don't have to worry about what everybody in the world saying i know what god said god says he's gone before me he'll level the mountains he'll cut in pieces the gates of bronze cut through the bars of iron he'll give me the hidden riches in secret places that's a promise yeah if god says a thing will he not do it if he makes a promise, if he says, don't worry, Atria, don't worry, Tony, don't worry, Capricia, don't worry, uh, Michael, don't worry, whoever's listening to me right now, I'm going to go before you, yeah? Not only has he gone before us into 2022, guess what? He's already waiting for us in 2023 with a good thing prepared for us. See, God anticipates our need. He knows what we need even before we ask uh, 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 uh doing the bible snacks today and a brother get, came up with a really good uh gave up came up with something really awesome about prayer where uh in this part of the scripture in in genesis 24 that while he was praying his, his, his prayer was being answered Zena, god bless you Zena. good to see you i could i could see your picture up there but i didn't see your name until you uh commented bless you Zena. Uh, God is the God who answers prayer that even while we're still asking, if you ever asked a prayer and even while you're still asking, God answers it. That's, that's powerful, man. There's times when there's a scripture in the Bible and I should have uh, looked it up and brought it out, but there's a scripture in the Bible that says, even while you are praying, yeah, I'll, I'll answer. So even before you finish praying, God sends the answer. Oh yeah, thank you. You're welcome, Zena. <laughs> and that's the kind of God we serve, man. It's a, it's a it's a it's a privilege to be able to walk with God, knowing that He loves us. Yeah. And another thing we're talking about in the Bible snacks today is the awesome love of God. If you've never heard that song, reckless love, uh, reckless love of God, I love the lyrics in that. 
Yeah? No wall he won't break down. No door he won't kick down. Running after me. Yeah? Because how I many you know sometimes we take a wrong turn? <laughs> sometimes we take a, a wrong step. Sometimes the fear might creep in or, or, or worry might creep in. But the love of God chases us down. You know, when we take a wrong step or a wrong, you know, we look to the left or the right or we get persuaded to go the wrong way. The love of God chases us down. Says, whoa, 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 Gary, where are you going? Come on, come back on track. Come on now, which way are you going, son? Come on, let me steer you back on track. And I love it again, in, again, Psalm 23. His rod and his staff, they guide us. Yeah, they comfort us. We won't have to fear when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death because his rod and his staff, they steer us in the right direction. They nudge us in the right direction. This is the God we serve. So, Keeping it short and sweet today, I'm not going to go in too much, but it's just to say that God has things prepared for us. God has got something prepared. And there's times in my life when I've needed to know that God is able to take control. That God is God is in more in control than I think he is. Yeah, I've shared this testimony before, but I'll share it again just for anyone who's listening. There's a time where I needed to know that God was sovereign. God was purely in control. And um, I I'd, I'd prayed to meet someone. I couldn't get hold of them by email or by phone. And I just said a simple prayer. I said, God, if you can put me into contact with this person, I want to share a testimony with them, then Lord, do it. And so one day I left it. I prayed. I left it. And I went on a journey to my dad's. And on the way back from my dad's, I came to the turnstile at the train station. And as I went to the turnstile to come through the turnstile, I noticed I'd lost my wallet. Oh no, I've lost my wallet. So I'm there frantically checking my pockets. My wallet's not there. I go running back to where the train is. Luckily, it's not a train that's passing through. It's just coming into the station and then it's going back to where it came. But I had enough time to run back to the train. And as I ran back, I got into the carriage and I'm like, has anyone seen a wallet? Is my wallet there? It wasn't there. As I came out of the carriage, I went to walk away and I walked past the train driver who was in his carriage at the front and he had my wallet in his hand. And I walked over to him, I said, that's my wallet. And he looked at it and he pulled out my ID card. He looked at my handsome picture <laughs> and he said, oh, he said, yes. He said, you need to be careful. Them tracksuit bottoms you've got on, the wallet can easily fall out. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you for my wallet. So then I took, I went back to the turnstile, which is a good three, four minutes walk back to the turnstile. And as I got there, the person that I prayed and asked God to meet was stood right in front of me. Right in front of me. Yeah. That's how much God is in control. That he allowed all of those circumstances to happen in order. Perfect precision and timing for me to be stood right in front of that person. That I had prayed and asked God to connect to. Now, how many people are there in, 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 in the UK? millions how many people in the town where i was hundreds of thousands but for god to get that person and me to meet at exactly the same time for me to have to have lost my wallet to have found it to have gone backwards and forwards to be at that place at that time if i'd have got there too early that person would have never would have, would have been behind me and never would she wouldn't have caught up to me uh, but if i'd have gone too late i would have missed them they would have passed through the turnstile but there she was, the, uh, a, a woman of God that God wanted me to, to share a testimony with. And the grace of God, the testimony was told and the, the glory of God was given. So I say that to, I say all that to say this, that if God can do that, the finite details, yeah, then God can prepare a good thing for us in 2022. I'm going to finish on this last scripture. Praise the Lord. And it's found in Ephesians 2.10. And it says, For we are God's masterpiece. You are God's masterpiece. Capricia, Zena, Tony, uh, Michael, um, <laughs> let me see who's on here, Atria. Yeah, you are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do the good things he prepared for us long ago. Praise the Lord. Yeah. That he has prepared for us long, long ago. So not only are we God's masterpiece that he's created us anew in Christ, but he's prepared good works for us to do. 
So there's always something good for us to do. Always something exciting. It blows my mind that me, I can be used of God to bless someone. I can be used of God to bring a smile to someone's face. You know, just recently I've been doing a project where I've had the privilege of being able to take a family out of the slums of Africa and bring them up into their own accommodation, clean accommodation, a fresh place for them to live. And I've seen the blessing of God upon the life. And I'm not saying that to big me up, but I'm saying God has prepared that good work for me to, to go and to do and to serve and to give God the glory and to see that family being raised up, no longer having to be around a dirty, broken down slum where there's diseases and sicknesses and a, and a young child has to grow up in that mess. Now they've got a clean property a clean place a clean place for them to grow up the young daughter of 40 year old can grow up clean and without worrying about diseases or cutting herself on something or even uh, snakes coming into the slum or all kinds of creepy crawlies and bed bugs and all that stuff getting into the no they don't have to worry about that now because there's been a good work prepared and by simple obedience and this is what Isaac had to do. He had to follow that simple obedience when Abraham told him, listen, an angel's going to go before you. So don't worry. When you get there, everything will be prepared. So let me pray because we're running out of time. But what, what is God saying to you in this message? What is God encouraging you with as he told you to step out and do something and you're worried about whether you should do it and you're kind of hesitant about stepping out? God wants to tell you he's prepared something good for you. He's prepared a place for you. If God tells you to do something, don't worry about the who's, the what's, the where's, the why's. If God has said do it, then do it. Because God has prepared something good for you for when you get there. All right, so I'm simply going to pray. Uh, I might put some music on perhaps. I'm just pray for like five minutes and pray for us. And if there's any area of our life that's stopping us, from believing God that's got he's got something prepared for us is it fear is it doubt is it unbelief is it um lukewarmness is it apathy is there something slowing us down from stepping out and believing God for that prepared place because how many know we can be we can be very um what's that word independent sometimes we want to do it ourselves we want to fix it ourselves we could be want to be in control and I've been like that I've done that. I've made that mistake. Oh, I want to be in control, God. I want to do everything my way. I want to, you know, I want to do it my way, God. And then it all falls apart. And then, and then I have to listen to God. And God says, come on now, Gary. Are you going to do it my way? Yeah? Are you going to let me go before you? Are you going to let me prepare the place for you? Make your crooked place straight and your rough place smooth? And uh, it's all about trust. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your steps. All right, so let me see if I can find some music. I'm not sure if I can. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Praise the Lord. Alexa, show me YouTube. Here is YouTube. Thank you very much. So I'll just play a little music for a little while just before we pray. It's just a short, sweet and hard to beat message today. Just coming back uh, from COVID the last uh, I think 11 days, I was tested positive for COVID. But by the grace of God, um, now tested negative, I had a couple of negative tests. So by the grace of God, he helped me to overcome that. And uh, yeah, man, I'm uh, ready for... Ready for this year now, refreshed, ready to press on throughout this year and do what God's called me to do, amen. So let's pray. Let's press in and let's see what God wants to do in this year. But God will fill us with faith. God, give me faith for this year. Give me faith to step into what you have for me this year. God, I know that you've told me you prepared a place for me. You prepared a wife for Isaac. You prepared uh, a place for, for, for David in the presence of his enemies. You prepared a table, Lord. You prepared good works for us to walk in, Lord. So, Lord, help us in the area of our lives where we fail to trust you, where we fail to, to believe you, where we fail to step into that which you've called us to step into, Lord. I just pray now, Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit, God, that you give us courage, 
you give us that boldness to step into 2022 with 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 a confidence like never before with a confidence to believe you for a, for the best to believe you for something good to believe you father for a, for the that you are the God that prepares good gifts for his children Lord so I just pray Lord wherever there is doubt in our mind wherever the enemy has placed fear in our mind in our heart Lord I just pray you uproot that fear uproot that fear Lord where we have perhaps could become lazy Lord God or perhaps at some point <coughs> we become complacent or passive or even lukewarm Lord and we resist you in stepping out. We resist you in, be- in believing for the next step, Lord. Help us, Lord, no longer to become complacent or passive or lukewarm or apathetic. But, Lord, help us to be energized. Help us to be motivated. Help us to be switched on. Help us to be enthusiastic about the good thing you've got for us. Lord, let there be an excitement that that runs through our veins about serving you, about worshipping you, Lord. An excitement about trusting you. An excitement in believing that the God that I serve has got great things ahead. You see, walk out, family, the same blessing that God had for Abraham, Lord, he, he has for you. He has for me. The same favor he showed to Isaac, the same favor he showed to Abraham, the same favor he placed upon Jacob, the same favor he showed to each and every person that you see in the Bible. He has that same favor for you and for me. So let that be something that excites you. Let, let that be something that you claim. You claim the favor and the grace of God. That you might look at your situation and circumstance and say, I've messed up, I've made mistakes, I've, I've fallen down, I've done something wrong. But listen, the grace of God is there to pick you up, to put you back on your feet, to turn you around, to give you that hope again, and that, that fresh vision again, and that fresh start again. How do I know? Because he's done it for me. Many times I've fallen down, many times I've messed up, many times I've made mistakes, but the grace of God, the favour of God, the love of God has picked me up and said, look again, son, look again, son, keep your eyes focused upon the prize, son, keep pressing forward, son, I've prepared a place for you, I've prepared a table for you, I've got something special for you, before the foundation of the world, I've prepared a place for you. I've got good works for you, prepared for you to walk into. So don't look at the past. Don't look at what mistake you made. Don't look at what you did wrong. Don't look at yesterday. Look at, look at my face. Look towards tomorrow. Look towards another day because I'm waiting in that next day for you, says the Lord. I'm waiting ahead of you, says the Lord. I've gone before you and I've prepared a place for you. A place of honor where I will honor you. I will set a table before you and I will honor you there, says the Lord. Hallelujah. So I just pray, Lord, encourage the walk it out family now, Lord. Encourage us to face our tomorrows with hope, with faith, with enthusiasm, Lord God. With a boldness to know that you are with us. You are backing us up with the whole of heaven backing us up, Father. I thank you now for renewed strength for your people, Lord. Refresh your people right now, Father. Refresh your people, Lord. Whoever needs a refreshing, let there be a, a, a refreshing, Lord, that comes upon their life, Lord, an excitement for 2022. That they won't listen to the news, they won't listen to the politicians, they won't listen to the mess and the, the, the report of the world, but they'll listen to the report of the Word of God. They'll listen to the report of what God has to say. Whose report will you believe today, walk it out family? Will you re- re- believe the report of the enemy or the report of the news? Or will you re- believe, choose to believe the report of the word of God, that God has something good prepared for you for 2022 and beyond? Because this is the God that we serve. <coughs> the God who prepares a way. The God that makes a way. The God that goes before you. He's gone before you, Lady Tiffany. He's gone before you, Pastor Michael. He's gone before you, Tony, Capricia, Zena, Atria. The Lord has gone before you and he has prepared a place for you. And it is good. It is good. It is good. There is a good place prepared ahead of you. Walk in it. 
Walk towards it. Press towards it. Break through into it. Don't allow the things of yesterday to hold you back. Don't allow the things of today to hold you back. Don't allow anything to hold you back. Press on towards the prize that God has prepared for each and every one of you. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you now, Lord, as we bring this service to a close, that you would, Father, energize us once again with, with that zeal, Father, to, to run this race, Father, knowing that you have gone before us, knowing that you prepared a place for us, knowing, that, oh God, that what you have prepared for us is good. Oh Lord, let it be an excitement like that of a child, Lord, that runs towards a gift that the Father has in his hand, Lord. That there would be a new excitement, Lord. You would break off apathy. That you would break off, Lord, passiveness. You would break off any lukewarmness in our lives, Lord. And there would be a fire that stirs within our hearts again to seek your face, O oh God. <coughs> a fire that stirs within us again, Lord, to seek your face and to worship you like never before. Knowing that you have something good prepared for us, Lord. I thank you now, Lord, that you give us that renewed hope that renewed passion, that renewed zeal for you, Father, in this year, that we'll be on fire for you like never before, Lord. <coughs> and that, Father, we repent of any passivity. We repent of any lukewarmness. We repent, Lord, of anything that used to slow us down and used to keep us bogged down in fear or in doubts, Lord. But now we choose to rise up to arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon us and God has gone before us to prepare a good place for us and we run towards our destiny Lord excited for the good thing that you have for us this year and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus Amen and Amen Hallelujah Praise the Lord all right, walk it out, family. It's good to be back. 2022. It was a tough start to the year. <laughs> there was fire. How many know when we go through the fire, we will not be burnt, and the Lord is with us in the fire, and God brings us through the fire. And I don't smell like smoke. Ain't no smoke on me. Hallelujah, because the fourth one was with me in the fire. Hallelujah. So that was today's message, the prepared place. If you missed any of it, please go back. Go back and check out the replay. God has something to say to you. Yeah, God has something to say to you. And it's important that you get the whole message. Praise the Lord. All right. So a few announcements. Uh, I believe the devotions have begun again. Lady Tiffany. Uh, great to see you too, Lady Tiffany. Uh, the devotions have started again. Lady Tiffany was on Monday on Twitter. <clears throat> uh, I believe um, Alethea was today on Twitter. And uh, I think tomorrow, if, um, if my memory serves me correct, is Sister Trina on Twitter. And then, is it Thursday, is Sister Netta on Twitter? I hope I got the announcements right. If I haven't, forgive me, but look out for them. Um, after me in the next few moments 7 p.m eastern standard time our lady tiffany will be doing walk out moments so stick around don't go anywhere maybe you know freshen up or whatever you need to do but come back and be here for 7 p.m for lady tiffany walk it out moments it's powerful i can't wait to hear the first one of this year i know the last one of last year was amazing and yeah so god has still got something he wants to say <clears throat> look out for any more announcements men on fire will be back on saturday uh with myself praise the lord i'll be i kick off the very first uh men on fire of this year 2022 on saturday and yeah so guys let me just close in prayer and i'll move out of your way and let you get on with the rest of your evening <coughs> excuse me i'm still recovering from that horrible covid virus praise the lord got a bit of a cough but i'm all right god has got me that's right men on fire lady tiffany let me pray father thank you for this service lord thank you for what you've done in it and through it lord and i just pray lord that not one word would fall to the ground lord for each and every word that's been spoken be planted in the hearts of your people lord it would be watered and grown much fruit 
for your honour and for your glory, Lord. For each and every person who came in either live or by the replay, Lord, bless them. Let your anointing be with them, Father. <coughs> and let your anointing touch them and change their lives and bring them into a closer relationship with you so they can be and do all that you call them to be and do, Father, for your honour and for your glory. Heal anyone that needs healing, Father. Deliver anyone that needs delivering. And save anyone that needs saving. In Jesus' name I ask, amen and amen. All right, guys, this has been Men on Fire. I've been Brother Gary, and now I'm going to go and let you get on with the rest of your evening. Thank you for watching. I love you all very much. I'll see you all again soon. Take care, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.